ബിസ്മില്ലാഹിറമാനിറീം the government of bangladesh and we need to reflect on how it has happened and how other deaths have taken place by hanging you have to understand you have to take into care the core issue the core issue is accountability to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whoever has done any iota of injustice to anyone else whether from power or from at home or in society nobody can escape allah's accountability nobody can escape if anyone fears allah anyone has reflection that no, there is no escape for any of, of us doing any wrong doing that allah will not account for it then they are wrong because allah is watching allah is watching every one of us whoever has been involved in hanging people who are innocent for 40 years there is no charge against them of course they had a political view which they have a right to do but to charge them for 40 years nothing there and then you have killing and raping and burning and looting charge them it's laughable laughable because where have you been 40 years have you been sleeping and then you have been working with them Uh, as partners in uh, varieties of means you you there are uh, photos that we have seen so from islamic point of view it is simply uh, not plausible not justifiable to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as far as i can understand it is simply sadness and let me say categorically nobody will escape the justice of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any injustice done and these people have been killed because they are prominent islamic leaders and to silence them this is a means but it never actually silence them it creates more people supporting them following them inspired by them and they will dedicate their lives for the same cause they have in our knowledge in our analysis they have done nothing of those four crimes these are crimes no doubt killing is a crime raping is a crime looting is a crime burning is a crime these people have not done it if they had done it why 40 years there was no case against them therefore what we need to uh, realize is that those who are in power in authority they abused their power to protect them namrud did it faraun did it and during arab spring we know how people rose against some oppressive dictators the same thing is going to be repeated in any part of the world where oppression reaches a limit allah is giving some in in quran allah says allah is giving a uh, rope more time for people to do more wrong if they are bent on doing wrong they have to die and they have to die and they have to go to allah and they have to justify what they are doing now whether it is uh, legal murder or political murder or secret murder or kidnap murder whatever it is just i don't like my opposition leaders i kill them that's not that actually defeats them because they are afraid to face them in the field with the popularity contest so my message is that this is a sure way to push them forward to make them more popular and to lose their 
those who are doing it, they will lose support. It's just a matter of time. It has happened every single time in the world. The history of the world is full of them. That those who oppress others, who are, who use power or abuse power to kill their opponents simply because they are their opponents. They cannot agree with them. They are afraid of them. Abu Jahl Abu Lahab did the same. I mean, Rasulullah started this da'wah, kalima tayyiba, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. They got afraid. They got afraid. So even though he had a few powerless people with him, they were afraid. And they hit back. They tried to suppress. What happened? In the end, he won. Because Allah is always with the truth. Allah is always with the, with the pious people. Some people will die because Allah will honor them by shaheed. So Sheikh Nizami is shaheed and the people who have been killed before them are shaheed. That's because they have died for the cause of Islam, not for the cause of the crimes that they, they are alleged to have committed. That's not the case because if that was the case, then with a lot of other people who have had charges against them, these people had no charges for the 40 years that they have lived in that society. Therefore, my message to the oppressors and the oppressed that these things will change. Allah will not just stand by and let the oppressors continue to oppress unlimited time. They will have their time and that time will not be far off. So my oppressor people watch out. Allah is there and if you are not afraid of Allah, it doesn't change the fact that Allah will catch you and catch you right and catch you and punish you for what, what all misdeeds. And those who are being suppressed, oppressed and killed and hanged and, uh, and all other kinds of pain being inflicted on them, I say time will change. Time will change. This is Allah's plan. And if you sincerely follow Allah's command, stay with Quran and Sunnah, then nothing, nothing will be, will be the same. Things will change and truth will prevail. Allah will be with you, the oppressed people. And inshallah, inshallah, truth will win in the end. And the oppressors will pay heavy price. إن شاء الله الدنيا وما توفيقي إلا بالله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله